we got lead, bass, rhythm guitar, and drums. And I think let's start with the lead. Uh, oh, I forgot. Great song. It's crazy how in the actual song, everything is like mono. Like the song itself is very down the center and it's not a lot of like stereo width going on. So let's see what we got going on here. Okay, let's lay it down. All right, I feel like I'm already behind. What happened? Let's quickly uh, see what the tone sounds like in the original song here. Distortion, right? Let's see what the dis this distortion sounds like. I like that. All right, let's just go with that, you know? Let's do the bass. Get a little bass tone. That sounds good. And then the song sounds like... Could have sworn I had a pick. Uh, okay, I guess I'll just use a different one. This is a fast, fast pace here. That was a good take. Get a quick tone on this guy too. First of all, compress it. Toss an amp on here. What if I EQ it before the amp? Take it the high end. All right, and let's listen to them both together now. Seventeen minutes. Okay, so there's a rhythm guitar, and that's what we are going to do. Rhythm guitar. This song has like fundamentally shaped my taste in music, honestly. One, two. All right, let's see what the original song sounds like for this rhythm guitar. I'm gonna put a isolate on here. Take out the highs. I know that Albert Hammond Jr. Did, they do like the, he does just like two notes a lot of time. He's got that classic. Sounds like that might be the first chord. Let's try to figure out the second chord here. It's so simple. Everything in this song so far has been so simple, but why is it so good? I, it might be because of the simplicity of it, but it's also like the interplay fits perfectly. I don't know. Anyway, I think we got this. It's so fast. That'll be it for the guitars. And we are gonna get a quick tone on this guy too. We'll try the amp on this one now. Sounds pretty good actually, but I mean it's too hard, way too. Alright, let's see what it all sounds like together. I'm kinda scared. Alright. Cool, we can work with that. Time check. Eight minutes. Uh alright, let's quickly do the drums here. They shouldn't be too hard. So Kick, snare, hi-hat. A little bit sloppy, we'll quantize it tight. Whew. Quantize it a bit here. I think it sounds similar to the actual song where the kick and the snare are a little bit actually ahead of like being directly on beat and that makes them feel 
they're rushing and it makes them feel more aggressive, like they're a faster pace, like they're pulling the rest of the band along, you know? <sighs> Three minutes to get a hi-hat in here. Okay, open. It is an open hat. Pattern-wise, it is just straight, I don't know, 16th, 8th. I'm, I got too little time to care about that. So I'm going to run through some of these options and see which one sounds the best. All right, we're going to go here and we're going to take the velocity down a little bit and randomize it. Uh, not that much. So we're going to go like 30. Actually, I'm not going to randomize it. That didn't sound right. It, it, I think it's actually going to be better just being really consistent like that. It doesn't sound exactly the same. Uh... Oh, is that it? Time's up. Oh, crap. Holy. Um... I was just in the middle of, I was just trying to get that drum sound, so I was going to EQ the drums and add some distortion to the whole drum track, but I do have to go because I have things to do and people to see and places to be. I'll probably just tighten it up a little bit in post um, and here's the finished beat. Let me know what you think about that. Did I do a good job, bad job, a Steve job? Got that. Takeaways from doing this. It's just the simplicity is what really smacks me in the face. There is seemingly nothing extraordinary about this song. So nothing out of like the realm of what anyone could theoretically do. I do think that it's a very unique lead line for the guitar. You know, notes that you wouldn't necessarily expect to hear but they feel oh so good. Yeah, I mean, the song's just kind of magic. I can't explain it. Uh, shoot me some suggestions of what I should do next or any way to make the video better, and I will see you next time. So thanks for watching.